thing I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last ride God, everything I would do, you were standing there by my side And now you gon' be with me for the last ride It's been a long day Without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it When I see you again, I see you again. We've come a long way from where we began you know we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it When I see you again I'll tell you. When I see you again Good evening, everybody. <clears throat> so, I'm uh, Charlie Cabalbo's Uncle Patty <clears throat> and uh, also work with RDC quite a bit because of my son, Harrison, who's going to be dancing in quite a few numbers tonight and hopefully I won't be working as the physical therapist tonight. I did get to meet the talented artist who did this amazing painting, and he wanted the family to have it, and we worked out a lot of logistics for me to get to him, and I wanted to show it to you live here tonight. He goes by the name Five, and he does these people around the country who had heard Charlie's story, um, contacted him, and he immediately fell in love with, the, with Charlie and, and wanting to do this for him. So we thank Five and all he's done for Charlie. And, and I'm not sure that this will fit in their living room, but we'll find a happy home for it. Thank you all for coming tonight. Now's the part I have to get through myself. So Charlie loved hockey and hockey loved Charlie. So many of us have displayed hockey sticks outside our homes to show our support for Charlie. Hockey is a tight community. From the local tiniest mites to the NHL pros, tonight we, all the performers, their families and our friends join together with the hockey world in solidarity to honor Charlie. In a few moments, these young men and women from the local hockey community will commence tonight's performance by banging their sticks. If you've ever seen the gloves these guys wear, especially goalies like Charlie, then you know why they needed a substitute for hand clapping to applause. Maybe it's only fitting that as a goalie, Charlie played with the largest stick. This is the part I had trouble getting through. I got this. I think there's Vegas odds on when I was gonna ball, but I think I got this. As large as the joy and love that he showed for the game, and the people in and around it. That's why we're banging our sticks. Please join us for 30 seconds in memory of our number 30, Charlie Capalbo, in a moment of hockey love. Stomp your feet, bang your sticks, and show Charlie his love. Show his family your love. Please start. Some of you here know me as Harrison's mom from the dance world. Uh, tonight, some here know me as Charlie Capalbo's Aunt Becky, who signs his Facebook updates in the Friends of Charlie Capalbo group that was started five years ago. That group was originally started as a way to update family and friends about his treatment without having to call 50 people. Uh, there were mostly close family, friends of Charlie's, hockey moms, etc. There are now 3,500 plus people in that group and supporting his five-year fight created a, a strong community. The hockey world throughout his battle gave so much love and support to Charlie and to the Capalbo family. <clears throat> hockey was something that Charlie loved so much. Yeah, it was a complex night, he said, he was kidding, I'm not kidding. Uh, <clears throat> he loved so much. It was a way of life for him growing up. And dance has been my son Harrison's way of life and a huge part of his life in a very similar way. Uh, Rockwell Dance Center has given our family a similar kind of love and support, especially over the last five years. Uh, 
um, Harrison would like to speak to you about the part each of you have played in contributing support tonight. I have one thing I'd like to say first, and I have a few statistics I just kind of want to leave you with tonight to think about while, while we're finishing the last piece. <clears throat> Only 4% of all federally funded research for cancer goes to children, to pediatric cancers, 4%. One in 285 children will be diagnosed with a pediatric cancer. Over 1,800 children in the United States each year die of pediatric cancer. So 4% is not enough. Uh, just something to think about. My mom's a little shorter than me, so I'm going to crouch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. I got it. Uh, our family would like to personally thank you all for joining us this evening. All of your gracious donations will benefit two amazing organizations in honor of the giving spirit of my cousin. <sighs> Living in a hospital as a kid simply sucks, and these organizations have dedicated their efforts to helping it suck just a little less, and our family unfortunately knows um, that that little difference can have a big impact. Thank you to the Parker Project and Rockwell Dance Center for not only providing an amazing opportunity to honor Charlie tonight, but for the love and support you have provided me with my whole life, especially these last five years. It's always been a community that I could turn to as a place to express myself when I needed it, without ever having to worry about what other people thought. This... <clears throat> oh, I really thought I would be the one who didn't. <laughs> <laughs> This next and our final piece is dedicated to my cousin Char with love. I know he'd be proud of the good we've all done here tonight. You will forever be in our hearts. Thank you.
Thank you all for coming. Have a wonderful night. Have a safe